to Vet Ranch. This is Chipper and Alfie, and they got into a little scuffle last night with a porcupine. See, Alfie has some um, quills right here, and Chipper is a little worse, and it'll be easier to see once they're under anesthesia. Chipper has some quills all on his face right here. He's got them in his tongue and in his mouth. He was vomiting. And uh, we're going to, I just gave him a little tranquilizer, kind of take the edge off. You can see it's not working yet. And we're going to anesthetize them and, and try to pull these quills out because they're all inside the mouth. We're not going to be able to do it while they're awake. But uh, I'm going to fix these dogs up. You can see they are pretty tough. They're not too, uh, too worried about these quills in their face. They're happy dogs. I know, but I know. This is Chipper, and he has them everywhere. A lot more than I thought he was going to have. Um, all in his mouth, in his throat, under his tongue. This is a graphic video, by the way. Um, under his tongue, yeah, that hurts. Deep under his tongue, all in the roof of his mouth. Golly, in his tongue right here. Insane. Okay, we're gonna get to work on this guy and start pulling his quills. He's got him in his neck, he's got him in his feet. Where'd that one go? There's one in his toe, couple, well, there's a bunch in his toe down there. Yeah, everywhere. We're gonna get to work on this guy pretty quick. I see. What it is that I see And I like to believe What it is I believe But I don't know where I'd be Without you right here next to me The mask that holds the cell that sets me free These porcupine quills have little barbs on them that keep them stuck in here so you really have to put some force on them to get them out. They're kind of nasty right in the tongue. And they really stick in there hard like that, you can see they, they go in and they just stay. So that's why these dogs get them everywhere. Golly. All right, look at this beautiful bloody mouth now. A lot better. We pulled all the quills out of there, worked on him for about 30 minutes probably. He had a bunch of quills up in his ear, on his head, on his paws, and all under his tongue, in his tongue, around his teeth. Yeah, he was a mess, but He'll be feeling a lot better in a couple days once all those sores heal up. I'm gonna wake him up and go to his brother. Good morning, bud. <laughs> See his tail's wagging. <laughs> Are you feeling better yet? Probably not yet. I gave him an antibiotic and an anti-inflammatory injection, so should start working pretty quick and he ought to feel better. All right, you're next, buddy. All right, Alfie is not nearly as bad. He just has a few in his inside gums here, a lot in his lower lip. I don't see any in his tongue or under his tongue or in his mouth or in the roof of his mouth like Chipper had, so should make quick work of this one. I know. <laughs> Good morning. Good boy. He was asleep and looking pretty sad until he saw his brother sit beside him and then he got all pumped up. They are waking up the two smartest dogs in the world and uh, we should go ahead and mention that this is not their first time to uh, protect the ranch from a porcupine. These are repeat offenders. They have not learned their lessons. Good dogs. Good dogs. We're going to send them home with some antibiotics and uh, they should be all good. We're actually going to take them home. This is, uh, these are some neighbor's dogs. Good pup. Good pup. Oh gosh. <laughs> hey, calm down. Sir, sir, have you been drinking today, sir? <laughs> Slow down. Sit there. Good boy. Nope. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Just stay. Your brother's staying. Your brother's a good dog. Are you gonna stay too? Come here. Come here, Alfie. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Right there. Perfect. Good boy. Just stay there for a second. Here's porcupine quills that we got out of their face, and it uh, looks like they're feeling better than they were about an hour ago. I don't know how many there are. Um, it's over 20, so I, I can't count them. Anyway, we're gonna load these guys up in my truck and take them back home. All right, home sweet home. Come on, pups. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Wait, wait, this is Vet Ranch. <laughs> Demolition Ranch, my other channel. Thanks for watching Vet Ranch. We'll see you next time. I know what you're going through